Hey, what's up guys? Happy Wednesday. I am outside of a showing that I am about to do. I am doing a showing for a client that is out of town and their mom, her mom and her sister are here locally. So they wanna see this. I'm in Creekside here in Coppers Cove. It's, I just passed the community pool and all that good stuff here. I've never been back here. It's a pretty cool part of town I haven't seen. Um, I am about to look at a listing. So I just wanted to do a video on, you know, I get a lot of clients that I, I come across and I train at my gym. Uh, I own a local CrossFit gym here in Coppers Cove. But, you know, I get a lot of military personnel who come in and they always have questions about whether it be a real estate transaction or terminology or something. So, you know, I'm with the Shine team and I did a 30 day, which is probably by far the best thing I've done besides the amazing people that work there is uh, that 30 day taught me, it took an onboarding thing. It taught me a lot of stuff I didn't know, especially about contracts. But now that I'm in the position I am and I still got a lot to learn, you always come across something in a, in a transaction that you've never done or you know somebody else might kind of like make the situation better in a sense but today we're going to talk about i always get asked what's this what's that what's that school today we're going to talk about concessions so concessions is a seller's way of kind of like sprucing up the buyer right so there's a lot of ways you can use the concessions in the deal, like whether it be uh, personal property, like the appliances or furniture or whatever, you can do uh, closing costs, you can do upgrades, you can do, um, a lot of it has to deal with the deal. It kind of makes the, the deal and sometimes it breaks the deal depending on what you're asking. So when you're, you know, if if you go in a deal for X and it's listed at Y and you've done your market research and you know the houses here sell for 100% or more of the listing price and you're trying to come in a little bit low and you're asking for stuff, some, you, you gotta, you gotta look at the deal. You know, Scott at the Shine Team, Scott Shine, he, my very first deal, he helped me and it didn't get offered, but I mean, I didn't get accepted, but he made it make sense that it doesn't matter how you, you know, you know, let's say a house is listed at a hundred thousand and you offer 90,000, but then you ask for 12,000, like obviously the, the seller's not going to go for that. So you gotta be, you gotta make it sound good, but benefit for you. So there's ways to do that. And my advice to you as an agent is make sure you're asking somebody to look over your offer. Every time I write a contract and right before I send it in, I send it to Scott, see if he can like make it sound better or if I miss something or whatever. Always, and I like that because when I was an NCO in the army, we always had buddies, you know, your battle buddy to your left and your right, always check your work. That way, you know, if, if you mess up, it gets caught and you don't, you know, you're not, you're watching your, you know, your thing in the, you're watching your, making sure you're professional anyways. Um, yeah, so concessions. Um, like I just, you know, uh, did one with concessions closing and the refrigerator. Um, and I got accepted. So, uh, you know, I did my market. Our team has this thing that they send out every month or every week. And it tells you like what's going on in the market, um, what houses are selling for, what price they're selling for, What's the average? Are they selling above asking or below asking? What's going on? Just to kind of give you a feel, it's almost like ammo when you're going into a fight so you know exactly what you need to negotiate the deal. And that's how you get good at negotiating. You got to know, do your homework. If if somebody does, oh yeah, I'm gonna run comps and then I'm gonna go off of a comp. There's more to it than just comps. Right? You gotta make sure the square footage is the same. Make sure the houses aren't, You, I had one agent they were like, oh, we comped it to this. And I even called, you know, one of the guys at the office. I was like, they're comping a property from 1980. Like, 
and that was built in 1980 and the listing property is 2020 like those are the things you got to pay attention to and you know you'll learn as you keep going and going and going so yeah concessions when you're out there if you're an agent and you've got your clients make sure you are educating them first and foremost from the jump they should know what escrow means they should know what an inspection is they should know what you know option period what the option fee is what the what the earnest money is if you're not giving them those basics and inform, basic information they're not going to come back to you in this business and even in the in, in my gym business it's it's not about that customer it's about the the, the customers that you're going to get from that customer right you got to give good service and and it's your obligation to make sure they understand it before i came to the shine team i didn't do each paragraph uh in the contract i didn't go through i just went over what i thought was relevant now i go through every single one with the client and make sure they understand what it is even if it's not applicable they know and they would they appreciate that you know making sure that they understand all that stuff so yeah hook them up what i'm going to start doing with my my crm is i'm going to send out you know it's always about getting your leads and getting interacting with your leads i'm going to send them out like little you know notes about hey this is what escrow means and this is how it's what it's for and blah 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 or this is what option period means or this is what brokerage means or this is what exclusive right to, to sell or exclusive right all that good stuff right so the more information you give them that's free the more they'll come to you in the end right so yeah anyways hope you guys have a good wednesday my client should be showing up anytime now because it's 11 43 and i got this listing this showing at 11 45 so yeah if you have any questions um hit me up if i don't know them i'll find somebody in my my team to do it we've got over 40 years of real estate experience in our team google shine team realtors on google and look at the look at the the, the reviews um and it, it, it speaks for itself but yeah hope you guys have a good wednesday again subscribe and see you in the next video